Healy Bass is proud to introduce our newest product for the GL1800 and the F6B. And we'd love to show you our brand new Horizon LST adjustable multi-axis handlebars. For those that are just not quite satisfied with the stock position, well, you have a choice now. The reason I built this bar is I found the Gullwing to be a supremely comfortable machine, very, very comfortable. But for me personally, the bars were actually a little bit too close and too steeply aimed back towards me, such that when I did a tight turn, the grip was almost in my side. <clears throat> Not a good situation. So from the start, I built this bar to be a little bit taller and to have a a good three to four inch forward back adjustment range but the real key to the comfort of this bar is the fact that it has multi-axis adjustability to the hand grip independent of its forward and back reach. Now I'm going to show you how uh, three of those adjustments take place and how profound they are as well as some of the safety features. But first of all here's a view this is basically what the rider will see. A little bit different than what you're used to. It now incorporates a crossbar which interconnects the left and right side. This is the key to the handlebar's rigidity and the sense of improved front fork performance. Uh, this will be played out in reality as people start to ride this that it's not just a claim I'm making. It has a dramatic effect on how the front end feels. Now these two clamps here, there's two screws here and two screws here. If these are loosened, it allows you to rotate the mounting crossbar forward and back uh, in excess of three inches. So there's a dramatic range right there. These bars are set up for me, the designer, and they are roughly about two, a little over two inches taller. And although they're not much further back here, right here they're back dramatically. So it's just like straightening your hand down. The stock bar would be here with this forward angle like that. So what we did was straighten out your hand, bring it up a bit, and bring it back. So I'm going to show you some of the features and the adjustability. As I said, you can adjust the forward and aft for reach. But between this pivot and this pivot here, it independently allows you to adjust your hand grip. And I'm going to show you how easily that's done. Now I've already loosened this pinch bolt pinch bolt underneath and the two pinch bolts on top. This is a reality video so there is a truck going by. There we go, a little quieter. The grip here, because everything's loose, I'm going to show you how easily this thing adjusts forward and back. Dramatic range, I'll show you from the side. Now this is particularly exciting for people that want a more of a sporty riding position. Believe it or not, there's a lot of us that do. To really uh, get a much better sport position, better feedback from the front end, a um, lot more leverage. So in addition to the forward and back, and this is key to the pattern and what makes this handlebar design so unique, is depending on where you adjust this for reach, this angle here has to be compensated on the horizontal as well and I'll show you the difference that that makes. Remember that is independent of this motion. So you've got both these motions here going on to find that sweet spot and to enable you to always keep the control housings where you want and the lever that is adjustable as well. So between the two of them it's pretty dramatic. If you can't find a sweet spot with this baby, well, I I'm sure you will. So there it is. Now quickly, one of the safety features, if, say, you pull to the side of the road, you loosen this pinch bolt, uh, you make an adjustment, you want to try a slightly different spot. For some reason, if you forget to tighten this, which you really shouldn't, the bar has safety stops. Boom, that's it. It locks all the way in the forward position and all also locks all the way in the rear position. The same with the up and down, it locks there, locks there, you can hear it. So there it is in a nutshell. Uh, these are only really some of the features of this design, but uh, I think you can see it's dramatically different than uh, anything you've seen on a Gullwing before. Uh, real quickly, the design 
is uh, A356 T6 investment cast risers. Uh, the crossbar is a 6061 T6, which we machine here from a solid billet. Uh, this is a one inch bar going across here, so you have uh, a good robust area to mount all kinds of accessories. We are going to be having a GPS uh, slash phone mount that will sit right here, replace this cap. Same with this side, another one for over there. Uh, this bar does install using all the factory cables and hydraulic lines. The way we were uh, able to do that was we supply this uh, really clever uh, CNC machined hydraulic line adapter. Uh, on the brake side here, this line used to bolt directly into the master cylinder. So now it turns 90 degrees and drops all the way down here and it very cleanly uh, enters the, the hollow into the riser. The best part about this for people that are really scared about brake lines is once you put this on, it's only a matter of seconds to bleed it out because we provided a bleeder banjo bolt right here. And that's especially important on the ABS hydraulic line because that is a very involved situation to bleed that system. So we've simplified that. We've basically covered just about everything that could complicate the installation. So here it is, the Horizon LST Healy bars. Sort of looks like clip-ons, don't you think? I really like that. A gold wing with clip-ons. So go to our website, uh, or you're already on our website, go and uh, see some of the more advantages of this. And uh, we hope this has been informative, and I hope I've piqued your interest. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.